ingredients. Very delicious dish from Armenian cuisine from a region called Artsakh. The dish is called loba jash. Lobi means beans in Armenian. Jash means meal. So it's basically a meal with uh, beans, but also it has rice. Very simple to make, quick and easy. All you need is beans. And shame to say I'm using canned beans. You can cook the beans by yourself. I would recommend to uh, go ahead and cook some dried beans. A recipe, full recipe will be on my blog at heavenly.com. I'll put all the measurements, how much you need um, from each ingredient. Also, you need an egg, yogurt. I'm using my homemade yogurt. You don't have to, but I do have a tutorial how to make your own the most delicious. Look at this yogurt. You can simply cut it. So good, so delicious and so healthy. I really want it to taste it, just in case. Okay, so I have the yogurt, bean, egg. This is egg. Beans are cooked and I'm cooking the rice. Use any kind of rice you prefer. And simply pour some boiling water over the rice. Make sure you cover the rice completely and fully. And cook it until it's cooked. Uh, I need to add some salt, I just remembered. So I'll add the salt, my rice, and while that's cooking, I'm gonna mix some uh, yogurt with, I mean, I'm going to beat the yogurt with egg and wait until this cooks. And we'll go from there. The rice is almost done cooking. I'm gonna strain it in a little bit. And what you do, you simply beat the egg with yogurt. Add it over uh, melted butter. Did I start butter? No. Butter always to taste. As much as you like. Of course, I'll put dimensions and measurements, but you go to your taste. So I'll beat the egg, add my yogurt, about half a cup or so. The recipe is um, from um, Sonia Tashchan. I get the best Armenian recipes from her books or from her page on Facebook. Okay, so this is ready. The butter started to melt. Let me strain the rice and we're almost, almost gonna start cooking this. <laughs> and you thought we're done cooking, right? Okay, I'll strain this very quickly and mix it with my beans. Arka, you okay? Yeah. And I would suggest not to overcook the rice, but the beans is, are already cooked anyway. So I have the rice, adding my beans. I tasted the salt, it's perfect. So I'll mix this very quickly and wait for the butter to melt. In case, Um. Hmm. Uh, my. Bread. Bread, this one. Is it this one? But we have bagels. Chuchu. Because I think I didn't play. Um, but I think I didn't cry today. Yeah, that's very good thing. He didn't cry today. Let me mix this one more time. This is taking a long to melt. A few more minutes. I'm thinking to spice this just a little bit. Dry dill. You don't have to, there isn't in the recipe. But I think beans, rice and dill will taste perfect together. Spice it if you like, if you wish, the way you prefer. So this is ready and my butter has melted. I'm pouring this, li <laughs> this liquid, this mixture over the butter. Just like so. And then my beans and rice will go on top of this other mixture. I'll cover the lid. I mean, I'll put another stick of butter, piece of butter, I mean, on top and cook this about 20, 25 minutes. And that's it. Let me grab a spatula and 
scrape this properly. A few slices of butter here and there, like here and there, just like so. And cover the lid on medium to low heat. Cook about 20 minutes and that's it. How simple was that? Took me about 30 minutes to cook and I simply took a spatula and after it cooks let it set at least 10-15 minutes and with the spatula you want to check and see if there is any liquid left and if the uh, yogurt and egg mixture is slightly browned that's it and i hope this will come out as perfectly as i'm planning but to be honest i have no hopes <laughs> okay let's see what happens i'll let this a few minutes to calm down slowly and calmly It didn't come out as perfectly as I was hoping, but what matters is the taste and this lobachash tastes amazing. The best part is this yogurt and egg mix, so be sure when you serve this pilaf, be sure to grab some of that uh, deliciousness. That's it, this was a dish from Armenian cuisine. I hope you try it and like it as much as I loved it. Did I say it correctly? Yes. Good job. Okay, so of course I tried a little bit and it's so so good. I would serve this with a side of uh, pickled vegetables. I have lots of tutorials how to make pickled vegetables. So try it. Let me know how you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. And I'm gonna taste this even sooner. Right Lilith? It's yeah. you, you and me. Only both of us will be eating this the most delicious food I made. <laughs> the, the most deliciousness <laughs> I made today. So this is deliciousness. Mm -hmm. So delicious. Grab a fork, come join. That's it. Mm.